It's Monday, April 13th. Let's talk stock market. Have you ever wanted to build your own almost live stock market ticker and have it look the way you want? Well, how beautiful is Google Sheets? Because Google Sheets and Google already thought that a lot of people would be interested in doing this. And I keep getting asked about stocks and I was like, well, I wish I had an application where I could look through all the stocks on the, the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ to be able to answer this question. And guess what? They have a function called the Google Finance function. The Google Finance function and Sparkline function allow you to call real-time data and daily data, like like today's the current price right now, like it just closed. It, I think it says it's about on a 20 minute delay sometimes. So these prices are gonna be very, very close to the close, if not almost exactly the close. Uh, you know, I'm just a little bit past four o'clock. So it's gonna be superly accurate very soon as it just continues to update live and does a ton of things. Gives you the close from the previous day, what the change is, percent change over here, market cap, volume, outstanding shares. I've, met, I've done some conditional formatting in here, but basically all you have to do is you go equal sign Google Finance, equal sign Google Finance, and there are a bunch of options where you can open up and look at the way to craft the syntax of the formula to pull whatever value you want. But it's just an equal Google Finance formula. So as soon as you get the ticker symbol and make sure that the ticker symbol has the exchange first and then a colon, and then the symbol. So Walmart actually looks like NYSE colon and Walmart when you look it up in the formula, which is why you can see the, if you can read the formula up there, I have two cells to join together with an ampersand to make the lookup work in the syntax. But it gives you all this information. And, and what I did is I also isolated out all the ones that are on the Dow 30 today to show you, because I have all the stocks in here, but just look at the Dow 30, which was down about 300 or some points today. Well, what I can tell you from looking at this, and, and I'm going to talk about the trend lines in a second, but I have this sorted right now by descending in the way that the highest percentage changed and downward. So like the biggest gainer of the day on the Dow 30 was Walmart. Uh, at 2.85%, and their stock's now at 125.27. You can see that it's about the highest that it's been in the last 90 days. You can change this, and all these things are going to change and show you how many days back the actual chart looks like in the cell. I'm not going to do that right now because it causes the whole thing to freeze sometimes because it's doing a huge formula, and I don't like to record and do it at the same time. But you can when you're browsing this file. So super awesome. Now Walmart's a great buy because they're a consumer staple that's going to stay open through this crazy COVID pandemic that we're going through. And so they're going to continue to appreciate value because they're one of the only places that's staying open and allowing people to shop and, and get the necessities they need. And they have a, a, a business, that, a location that's in almost every major city. I mean, I, have someone, I am someone who's driven across the country many times and a Walmart defines a town in many, many cities. If they have a Walmart, they're a town. And there are many of them. So it's going to be the go-to place for people to go and get this. It's the place where people that are living in their vans use the bathroom. Like the Walmart is becoming a social community center. <laughs> Walmart is the church of, of the pandemic here. So I understand why they've made they are appreciating still through these tough times. Their volume, I mean they have 2 billion shares outstanding and the volume was 6 million shares. So they're not one of the highest volumes of the day because they're just steadily probably going to do all right. They're always a good buy. They're going to continue to appreciate even though they're on the high end of this last 90 day chart. Um, but, but they're still a good buy, but they are, they're priced appropriately. Let's put it that way. They're never going to drop crazy no matter how bad the economy gets because they're the essential lifeblood for many cities. That's my opinion on that company. How about Intel? Intel had a good day today. Their price went up 2.5% 2, 2 on pretty high volume comparatively, 17 million shares of volume. Um, I don't know. I didn't look into Intel. I didn't look into Chevron. I'm staying away from oil because this is a weird time to do anything around oil because it seems like we're all changing as in how we act economically. The, the stay-at-home trend is something that can't go away until we have a full-on antibody treatment that makes people not scared to go outside. Procter & Gamble, anything that's in pharmaceutical medical supplies I feel like still has a lot of resiliency right now because that's the war that we're fighting. 
So they're up now. Everybody else, so that's only of the, the Dow 30 stocks. That's like five of them that had positive days. Here's a positive day for Microsoft. I don't know. Do I need to resort this? So I'm sorting by Z to A. Man, Microsoft had a slightly up day, but barely. So there are six stocks that had up days, and then the rest, the 24, all had down days. And who had the worst? Caterpillar. Caterpillar down 8 point. Why? Because people aren't investing in long-term construction right now. I See, here's the thing. I don't know about big construction and, and – um, and excavation, you know, huge construction type equipment. And I'll tell you why. The the fact that we're all going to have to stay home more in the near future doesn't mean you can't take special precautions and do large type industrial construction work because not as many people are on the roads. It's a weird way to take advantage of like repairing a bridge or something like that where, okay, we have rules where people need to be wearing crazy masks and not talking to each other and staying as far away as they can, but you can still try to work. And this is a weird time you can take advantage of that. So you got to dig deeper into why Caterpillar stock did that. You can see that Caterpillar in the last 90 days, this is so cool, right? Look at this. I mean, you're just, this is live data. Way to go, Google Finance. I'm just going to let me make it bigger. Yeah, like to look at that chart, they're coming back to their high from, you know, earlier in the year. Um, but today's a really bad day for some reason. And maybe, you know, people are just realizing that, that maybe their maybe their current leases are not being paid or something. People that have equipment already that aren't working now before the changeover, people that have equipment and can't do work, that could be a trouble with them getting paid if they're like ev everyone's financials are gonna be a disaster until we get back out working. So we're redefining our essentials. And we're redefining how we're going to survive in this new economy. Now, let me tell you something cool here is let's not look at just the Dow 30. Let's look at all the stocks today. Let's look at all the stocks. And let's sort this whole thing descending by percent change. So if you were to have, you know, say you had like a thousand bucks today and you wanted to make as much as you can buying just one stock and you got in in the morning, which one would it be? The answer is it's NNBR, which I believe is a construction something, something. I was looking at it briefly, but they're up 85% today. As you can see, they had a terrible year so far and have been way at the bottom. So somebody salvaging something there, volume's fairly high. Now, this is an interesting one because now they we've got I got these all these colors here they're super cool like it's so awesome to look at it this way and I'm sure you can do it with some of the services that uh, that you can get from the the companies where you invest but I, I just wanted to be able to control all this data yourself completely and you can do it this way so what do you see here I see huge volume. I know they have 108 million shares anyway, but huge volume on Bioclinica Inc. going from 36 cents to 60, going up almost 70%. I looked into that one and I actually bought some stock here and I'll tell you why. Do you know what they decided they announced and what they're doing today? Is they announced that they're doing COVID-19 testing and point of care distribution of stuff as well to get people doing testing. So, so they're opening up a lab dedicated to the COVID-19 part of testing. Now, I knew that over the next several months, one thing we're all going to be demanding, and it's going to be part of our daily life, is being tested for not only the virus, but also the antibodies to it. And any lab that is in the, pro in the business of processing tests, especially designing something that's point of care tests, it's something that we can have, you know, you can walk into a store, give some blood, or what, you know, go to a doctor, give some blood, and have them tell you right away if you have the antibodies and you've had it and have beat it, if you currently have it and are fighting it. A lot of questions that could be answered simply by doing that. They're getting into that realm, which is why their stock, which is super cheap and has had spikes in the past. It had spikes somewhere, I guess, in February or, or March there, probably about mid-February, I guess. And now it's coming back because they announced they're getting it. Maybe they, they got their act together and they're getting into the testing of the COVID-19 virus, uh, the SARS-CoV-2, COVID-19. So this is a huge thing. I got some shares because 
yes, we're all going to be investing in testing. Everybody wants it. There's going to be subsidies to pay for it because we all need to know. It's, it's important for us all to know. So that is a good buy. You can see with the big volume spike there, that's interesting to know, right? Well, this is really fun. This is really fun, and this thing is dynamic. You don't have to do any copy pasting. You can just continue to build out and make it better. And um, yeah, yeah. Look at that more volume. This will probably change. Your stuff's just going to change in front of you. It's going to process like crazy. If you want access to this file, I think what I'm going to do is I want to do a video every day on this, given that I hardly have to do anything to update it, and we can just browse and do research and talk about what action is happening today, right? Like, what was the highest amount of volume today? I know it's going to give me an error because there are a bunch of ones where the, the volume is coming up as an error. No, actually it worked. This actually is the highest volume stock of the day because everyone's thinking like me about testing and us needing testing. I don't know what's up with Chesapeake Energy. Ford, down 3% on huge volume. So people are worried about people buying cars. You can see Ford's dropped it. Look at that. Ford continues to drop. And also they're losing out to Tesla. Where how'd Tesla do today? How did Tesla do today? Let's look. So you can filter by name. We can do let's do a control F first, just to make it easy. Tesla down here is up 13% today to 650. I like Tesla, by the way. They, this is a stock where you can guarantee the stock's going to be $1,000 a share this time next year, if not more. And so whenever anybody asks me about Tesla, and I'm like, if you ever see it below 500, grab it. Well, here, now it's already stuck up to 650, even though overwhelming economy things are, pro are, are problematic. This is a company that makes advancements and pivots on the dime. That's why people are realizing that. Yep. I mean, where does that put them in terms of percent gainers for the day? Right there around 40th, 39th place, I guess, on the day. Because if you could rank these on the best stock of the day, right? That's what this gives you. Um, super cool. I don't know what's going on here with PPI, PYS Trust. There's some information that doesn't pull in properly, like the market cap. But anyway, if you want access to this, I'm going to do a video every day and I'm going to sell a subscription to my videos and then I'll give you access to, to this file because it's going to change and I'm going to have notes in here. But you can you can create one of these on your own. So it's really, you'd be paying for the knowledge on how to create your own because it's really not very hard to do. And if you have a powerful computer, it's probably going to work a lot faster than you're seeing in here. So really, really awesome stuff. And it's time for the daily stock markets wrap videos because this is fun. So we're out. Good, happy purchasing.